Hi, everyone. Uh, good to be here. Uh, Million Hoodies uh, is a national racial justice network uh, founded in the wake of the murder of Trayvon Martin uh, two years ago, or three years ago. Um, and we are a national network with over 10 chapters across the country uh, working to build the next generation human rights leaders who are ending mass criminalization and gun violence. And we are in our communities and in our, at our campuses, we're pushing back against anti-black racism at, at all levels. Um, a lot of the times we're, we're thinking about answering this larger question, who has the right to feel and be safe in this country? Where cops, corporations, ICE, Department of H, uh, Homeland Security have a monopoly over the regulation and enforcement of what it means to be safe. Safe with tough on crime policies, war on drugs policies, war on terrorism policies, and over criminalization of black, brown people across the country. And the, mil the militarization of police has drastically increased, closely resembling the US military, especially with similar technologies and practices with domestic law enforcement. From Stingray cell phone interceptions, from SWAT team deployments, to excessive ma uh, military equipment found at both colleges and in local communities, police militarization has exacerbated uh, racially biased policing, discriminatory policing, surveillance, and excessive use of force. In New York City, our members have been tracked and surveilled by NYPD's counterterrorism unit after a solidarity action was held in the response to the Baltimore uprising, where NYPD is the largest police, one of the largest police departments in the country and seventh largest, uh, seventh largest military in the world. We've just actually fought for uh, a, a, we all fought in a campaign to intervene around the budgetary decisions uh, around New York City Council, uh, which were al allocating about $100 million to add 1,000 new cops into the New York City budget uh, for police. Um, we lost that fight, and they actually added 1,300 new cops. Um, the 300 new cops were specifically used for counterterrorism, uh, which is uh, strictly in response to the movement for black lives and the ongoing movement uh, against uh, anti-Muslim sentiment. And we know that NYPD officers are also being trained by the IDF. They're using, and, uh, using tactics like uh, monitoring social media, a uh, very visible activist, and, 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 and uh, black teens who are uh, vocalizing their dissent across the country. And it really just opens up this larger question, who has the right to feel and be safe in this country? Uh, where cops and corporations and DHS and ICE have the idea of what it means to be safe. So who has the right to feel and be safe in this country? Thank you. Thank you.